Are able to see? So we'll start the next chapter that is, yeah, by the way, any doubts from quadratic equation? So no doubts from quadratic equations. Okay. Is it coming or it's gone? It's coming. No? So chapter six, triangles, right? So this chapter you have learned last year also. Did you? Nine nine standard you have learned, right? So what is the difference between the triangles dealt there and here? So when you talk about triangles, you can either talk about congruency or similarity. So what is the difference between both? What do you mean by congruence? So congruent means they are exactly the Similar, I, I will not say similar, they're exactly the same things, right? See, for example, let's say I have a signboard on road, okay, you're going on a road and you're able to see a signboard, okay, which is in this form, and you're seeing the same signboard which convey the same message on some other road, which is like this, okay. So, what are the difference between them? This signboard and this signboard are manufactured in the same process, except the fact that their dimensions in terms of sides are kept different, whereas their angles might have been kept the same. So are you able to visualize it? See, suppose I designed this kind of a signboard, the first kind of a signboard, I designed 10 signboards and published it. Okay. Then those signboards are said to be congruent in nature. Otherwise, they are said to be similar in nature. So what is the difference here? When you talk about congruency, they're exactly the same. When you talk about similarity, the sides are in the same. The sides are in the same ratio or I can say the sides are in proportion. Right? And then what about the angles? The angles would be equal. Right? So this is what we are going to see. So in this chapter, we are going to discuss mainly about how to prove that the triangles are similar based on that, how to solve certain problems. That is what we are going to be concerned about. Is that right? No. So the first point that we can talk about is when you talk about similarity of triangles. So first thing, what you can say, their corresponding sides. So though you know it, please make a note of it. So corresponding sides are, take down notes proportional. So their corresponding sides are on a Permission. Okay, I'll check that. Next class, remind me. I have to check that. Okay. But, yeah. So, as we discussed, the, did I tell this to you? With respect to a triangle, what are the important parameters associated with it? You have angles and the sides. So, you need to talk about these two parameters. Only. You have three angles and three sides. Total, you have six parameters. Okay. So, their corresponding angles, is it there or gone? It's getting refreshed actually. Problem with HTML. Their corresponding angles are equal.
Shall I proceed? Okay. Uh, see, if I have two similar triangles like this, so I mentioned a point saying the corresponding sides are proportional. What do you mean by corresponding sides here? If I take this triangle to be ABC and this triangle to be PQR, how do I find the corresponding sides? So who will tell me that these are the corresponding sides? So with the angles, you can find it. So what will you do? What are basically angles? If I ask you to define angle, what will you tell me? That's right. So you have one line like this and you have another line, let's say on top of it. Now what I'll do is I'll keep the first line fixed and I'll start rotating the second line so that I'm stopping here. So what am I doing? I have one line like this and another line like this. I'm keeping my finger fixed. I'm rotating this like this. Then what am I saying? Then the second line is subtending some angle with respect to the first line. That is one way. Or to be more specific, angle is obtained when rotation of one line is done with respect to another. Is that right? So last year we learned lines and angles, right? So how do you learn lines and angles? It is a measure between two lines at a fixed point, something like that. Actually, angles are related to rotations. So if you rotate one line with respect to another, you call it as an angle. And basically, angles also have directions associated with them. Either angles can be in the anti-clockwise direction or they can be in the clockwise direction, which will help you to analyze, to analyze the quadrants concept. If at all, you didn't have coordinate geometry. About that, I'm not going to discuss now. So here, angle is basically how much is one line rotated with respect to another fixed line. Is that right? So if I say something like this, if I call this as alpha, you're comfortable with these symbols, right? So I'll call this also as alpha. Means this is the included angle between AB and BC for left side figure and PQ and QR for the right side figure. Then what are the corresponding sides? With, that's what. So with one angle, you cannot see. That is what I was about to ask. With one angle, how will you see? Right. So you need another angle, then only you will be able to justify it. Okay, beta. And here, if I take this to be gamma, then what we can say, AB and PQ are the corresponding sides. Similarly, AC and PR are the corresponding sides and BC and QR are going to be the corresponding side. So what is the meaning of this statement? How can you write it mathematically? AB by PQ. So if you take the ratio of these two corresponding sides, they will be in proportion. What do you mean by proportion? A by B is called as ratio. Equal to another ratio is what is called as proportion. Right? So is equal to BC divided by QR is equal to AC divided by PR. I hope you are able to understand. And what do you mean by the corresponding angles are equal? The angles which are included between the corresponding sides are called as the corresponding angles. Right. So this is a known parameter. Do you know where you use similarity of triangles in other subjects? Any please? That you have learned this year. I told in other subjects. Think and tell me later. Prism, you use trigonometry. Wherever Snell's law is coming, you go with trigonometry because that's that's the one that speaks about sine and sine. Right. So almost same refraction, though, but. I will not say refraction, you can use it for reflection also. I have almost given you the hint. Yes, you need to use it. But I am not sure if you have learned it. Did you learn it? So, basic proportionality theorem, you know this, right? Which is also called as BPT or you, what is the name given? Or Thales theorem. It was a mathematician, Keynes. Okay. 
it's uh, is it looking like equilateral let's make it clear a b c so what is the theorem state so you have three sides of a triangle out of the three sides to one of the sides if you draw a line parallel so that the line is cutting the other two sides at two different points if it does then what happens they are cut in equal proportion name is telling proportionality theorem means the ratio of those sides should be in the same proportion that is the meaning right so though you know it please write it down if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle intersecting other two sides intersecting other two sides in this is important distinct points right the other two sides are divided in the same ratio this one huh? so you can draw like this also it it doesn't touch that's what but you can still say it is cutting no because what is a tangent do it cuts the curve at one point that is why we said two distinct points this is the chapter there for the upcoming exam okay it is not that don't make me teach we will concentrate on some other chapter uh a b c d e okay so what is the mathematical statement for it then the sides are divided in the same ratio meaning ad divided by ad divided by ab will be equal to ae by ac see keeping the book in the keep, keeping the proof in the book aside now you know what is similarity of triangles and all those so you know all the criteria right so using that logic can you tell me how will you prove that they both are same keeping keep the area and all aside i don't want it they would have constructed by dropping perpendiculars use basic logic and tell me how can you prove this in two steps just now we saw what is the property of two similar triangles their corresponding sides are in the same ratio and their angles are corresponding angles are same so if you see ad divided by ab right or if i rearrange and write it like this ad divided by ae is equal to ab by ac can i mathematically do this so a by b is equal to c by d i made it as a by c is equal to b by d right if i do it in this way sometimes what happens this will give you a hint if you look at the points that are taken a is the common point and what are the two other points that you are able to see d and e so ad does it form a triangle similarly on the other side you have ab and ac a is a common point you have bc means ab is the other triangle so you have to observe if these two triangles are similar how will you do that it's very simple because they told this is a line which is parallel to the base if this angle is theta how much is this angle theta if this is okay, let's say alpha there is also alpha and this is the common angle so when you consider the triangles ade and a cb correct huh? my job is to confuse you alright so what is the correction i need to do it is so you are clear right now you understood what are corresponding sides so these two are said to be similar right then what can you say 
AD divided by AB. Is that what we wrote? AD divided by AB is equal to AE divided by AC. AE divided by AC. Makes sense? Right? So that is the proof. Or I can call it as a simple explanation. That's what I can call it as a proof. Okay. What does the next theorem state? What does the converse of PPT state? Did they mention that they will test the proof? This one is deleted. Huh? For anything. Huh? So the converse states, if a line, so it is exactly the reverse state. Right. So what can you say? There you told if you draw a line parallel to the base, then the line divides the sides in the equal ratio. That is, they are in same proportion. Right. Now, what are they trying to tell here? If a line divides in equal ratio, then you can conclude an important point. Then you can say that the line is parallel to the other side. Right. So if a line divides in... Okay, sorry. If a line divides... Any two sides of a triangle in the same ratio, then what can we conclude? Then the line is parallel to the third side. Then the line is parallel to the third side. So, when the statement is given like this, see, for example, this is a triangle, you have A, B, C, and you draw a line parallel like this. Okay. So, we have to say that this line is parallel. right? For that, what can we do? If at all they give a statement like this, A, D divided by A, B, A, D divided by A, B is equal to A, E divided by A, C. If at all they give it like this, then how will you find which line is parallel to the other? Sorry? Okay. Other two is like it's simple. DE is parallel to BC. Is that right? So that's the meaning. Okay. Next. So we'll do a problem based on this. Page number 154. So illustration number one. So in the given figure, angle A is equal to angle B. Okay. And D E is parallel to A B. Prove that A D is equal to D E. A, sorry, A is here. A, C, B, you have D, E. Any suggestions? Angle A is equal to angle B. Okay. And D, E is parallel to A, B. So this angle is also theta, this angle is also theta. What can you do that A, D is equal to B? How do I do that? Uh, why does why? Because it forms an isosceles triangle. So AC is equal to BC. Okay. Then what else can you say? CD is equal to
will write the corresponding. Then what is AC? AC is equal to CD plus DA. Right. Or I can write it like this. CD plus AD. Then what about BC? BE plus EC. If I subtract both. If I do AC minus BC, then what will I get? I'll get CD minus BE plus AD minus EC. So what will get cancelled according to the statement that we wrote? CD and EC are the same. Then what can you prove? And AC and BC are also same. Cancel them. So this side it is 0. 0 is equal to AD minus BE. Then what can you conclude? AD is equal to B. Is this what they asked us to prove? Right? So we can go with this. Understood or not? So they added one and did it. Because they use basic proportionality theorem. I went to the reverse. I took some of the side is equal to uh, distance between the collinear points. So AD plus D. Right, shall we proceed to the next one? So read the next part. A, B, C, D. Read the next question. So A, B, C, D is a trapezium with A, B parallel to B, C. So A, B is parallel to B, C. Is that right? Then what else did he say? E and F are points on non-parallel sides. So E and F are points on the non-parallel sides, AD and BC respectively, such that EF is parallel to BC. Sorry, EF is parallel to AB. Obviously, it is parallel to DC also. Show that AE divided by ED is equal to BF divided by FC. How to proceed? So, we don't have a theorem that speaks about a trapezium, a four-sided shape. So what do we need to do? We need to consider. Yes, you need to make it into a triangle by doing it. But you want to add a point here at the top. That also you can do. But I don't have space. Okay, don't get confused. It is slightly bent. You want to do this, right? Seb, okay, I'll call this as G. Okay. So the what else, what do you want to say? Basic proportionality. Uh, then how, how do you write it? How do you write it mathematically? Did you understand what the construction done? So we took it to the top so that it reached an apex. Right? Uh. Mm. GE divided by, can I write it as GD? GE divided by GD is equal to GC, the way I wrote. Or I can go GE by ED is equal to GF by FC also. Okay. So GE by GD means what is that I need to prove? I need to get the value of AE. So how do I get AE from there? Is equal to 
Okay. No, one minute. How was it GA by GP? Because look at the way look at the way we took the uh, proportionality values. So you took GE divided by GD, which is on the same side, is equal to GF divided by GC, which is on the same side. Now you cannot suddenly write GA is equal to GA by GD. Tell me how to do it. It's the same as previous problem. Just think in terms of triangle, collinear points. Just tell me what you want me to add and what you want me to subtract. That's all. Just think. See, here there is nothing wrong by doing like this. In the book, they have constructed a triangle by drawing a diagonal kind of stuff. That is also right. You can either go by that way or this also. This is also right. So, if this is the case, what am I supposed to do? Think like what I did for the previous problem. Think in terms of collinear points. So, if at all I want to write GD, how do I write GD as? GA plus AE plus ED. Similarly, if I want to write GC, what will I write? Okay. Now, so what can I say? So I don't have some, some information related to angles, right? Let's try and see. Let's try and see. So shall I take GA divided by GE is equal to GB divided by GF. Can I do that? Similarly, I'll take GE divided by GD is equal to GF by GC. Now, can I multiply these two? It's going to be the same, right? GA by GD is going to give me GF by GC. Um, so, I want to take the bigger side on the in the numerator. Okay, then what can I do? Use the same logic, isosceles triangle. This is an isosceles triangle. If this angle is theta, this angle is also theta. If this is theta, this is also theta. If this is alpha, 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 then what can you say about the sides? So can I say GD is equal to GC? Similarly, what else can I say? Can I say GA is equal to GB? Because from G to D, if I draw it, it forms an isosceles triangle. No? See, actually, I think the triangle is confusing you. One, the trapezium is like this. This in this way. This is G, A, E, D, B, F, C. Oh, that is not mentioned here, no? Yeah, then it is not equal. I'm sorry. It's my mistake. And then how do we proceed here? We can't proceed. Then this construction is not going to help us. No? Which one are in proportion? You give me a... G A by G E. Okay. That's what that's right. Which is also equal to G D by G C. Oh. So I am saying that these two triangles are similar. Okay. And this G E by G D is equal to G F by G C. Okay. So we have three similar. We have similar triangles, but what do I do with this? How do I find the distances? I need to eliminate. So the extra part that you constructed is GA and GB. Now, how are you going to eliminate it? You need to add one or subtract one to the ratio. In the previous case, it worked because they were exactly equal. That's what she asked me. The angles are not same. How did you say that the sides are equal? But here, they are in proportion. So instead, what we can do is we can think of a triangle inside itself. Or else what I need to do is I need to subtract one on both the sides because I considered longer triangle. So if you consider a longer triangle from the ratio, you need to subtract one. If you consider a smaller triangle, you need to keep adding them. That's what they did. In, you're able to see the solution, right? 
in one of the steps, they would have added plus one. The previous problem, observe. We never added plus one or subtraction. Right? So, in this problem also, you can do that kind of a process. Right? So, for that, what we can think of is, let's go in this way. Uh, A, B, D, C. This is E, F. They have given, no, E, F is parallel to A, B. It is given. Now, what you can do is construct a triangle inside itself. When you do that, what can you say? If I take this point as G, now what can you say? Is it what they asked us to do? No. A E by A D is equal to A G by G C. Let me take this as one. Okay. Similarly, what is the other triangle I can consider? So simple. If this angle is theta, this angle is theta. Accepted. Alternate interior angles. Right. So now what will be the corresponding sides? I can write C G divided by G A. I am writing in the reverse. CG divided by GA is equal to? Okay. Now, in these two, there will be some ratio which is proportional. See, CG is nothing but GC. GA is nothing but AG is equal to? Can I write it as? We already got the answer if, if you observe. We already got it. FC divided by BF. Okay. I just changed the uh, line segment points, the starting and the ending point. But what is GC by AG? Here you have AG by GC. So what is GC by AG? Sorry, AG by GC. That will be BF divided by FC. Can I take this as 3? So from 1 and 3, what is that I can conclude? AE divided by ED is equal to B F by F C. You can prove this, right? Shall I move on to the next one? So look at the third one. How to solve this? the triangle A B C? D and E are points. Are you people even noting it down? It's better you write. Okay. So at least from here, copy it. And you also try to do it on your own. In triangle ABC, there is a triangle ABC. I don't know how it is. In triangle ABC, D and E are points on D and E are points on AB and AC respectively such that BD is equal to BD is equal to CE. And angle D is equal to angle C. Show that DE is parallel to BC. So how do you do this? So it is exactly the reverse of the first problem. So how do you do this? So this angle will be theta. Okay. They asked us to prove that it is parallel. How to prove? Any suggestions? Yes, AB is equal to AC since it forms an isosceles triangle. Any other logic? We can think of AD plus, so AD plus DB, can I write it? Can I write AB as AD plus DB is equal to AC as AE plus EC? But what did they say are equal? DB. That is, they have already given BD is equal to CE. So BD and CE will get cancelled. So you got AD is equal to AE. So when AD is equal to AE, what can you say about those two angles? Yes. Because A is strong. What? Is So 
you want to prove it, right? So suppose you didn't get this logic. Suddenly you got stuck and you're thinking that what should be this angle? If you take this as x and x, if you take the smaller triangle, then what will you get? This angle, if I take it as a, a plus 2x is 180. So 2x is 180 minus a. So x should be equal to 180 minus a divided by 2, 1. Similarly, if you take the bigger triangle, a plus 2 theta is also 180. So 2 theta is 180 minus a or theta should be equal to 180 minus a divided by 2. So x should be equal to theta. Did you understand? Shall we proceed? So look at the fourth one. If ABCD is a parallelogram, ABCD is a parallelogram. ABCD is a parallelogram. Uh, P is a point on the side BC. So P is a point on the side BC. And DP when produced meets AB. So DP when produced meets AP at L. Prove that DL, AL divided by U also because they are parallel. Can you do this? So, how will you proceed? Sorry. Yeah, because it's a part of the line BC. That's right. So PB is parallel to AD. Okay, no doubt on that. Next. Angle P is, uh, okay, angle uh, L is a common point for triangle LPB and LDA. Then what can you conclude? LP divided by LD will be equal to LB divided by LA. So they just ask the reverse, which implies LD by LP will be equal to LA by LB. Or can I also write it as LP by PD is equal to LP by LB by BA. Can I do that? Then if you take the reciprocal of it, what will you get? PD divided by LP is equal to BA divided by LB. That's what they asked us to prove, no? Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I unnecessarily changed it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. So what is it? LP divided by LD is equal to LB by LA. Okay. So which implies LD by LP is equal to LA by LB. But what is LB? That's what we need to prove. So this one we proved, no? LD, LD, LP, LP is proved. LA is proved. You have CD. Is it is it right? LP by LA is equal to LB by LA. Is it right? Uh, then LD by LP will be equal to LA by LP. Okay, then. 
but here they are asking for cd no here i have lb that is right but lb is there no i want to eliminate that lb then you add them no that's better okay this will not work tell me lp okay is equal to you add one on both the sides so which implies lp plus pd divided by pd you remember that i told this rule to you in ratio and proportion i taught something called as component to dividend rate remember that so there is actually adding one on both the sides is called as component so lp plus pd is equal to lb plus ba divided by ba now i think we have solved lp plus pd is ld divided by but they want pl they want pl oh dp only ah uh. i wrote it wrong adanal da identity the question itself from so dp dp now i think we got it i had to rub it twice so lb plus ba is la divided by ba is how much ba cd because they are parallel sides simple only action right so we'll go to the theorem part is there anyone who is not able to understand clear no theorem on similarities of triangles so theorem 3 what does it state read the statement if two triangles are equiangular means all the angles in both the triangles are same then they are said to be similar can't we say they are congruent why so they didn't speak about sides at all are equiangular then the triangles are similar right so you know this so theorem 4 speaks about a criterion what is it mm -hmm. sss similarity criterion what does it state if the corresponding sides of a, of two triangles are proportional then yes. they are similar if corresponding sides of a triangle are proportional then they are similar next is sas criteria what is it which which side which side which side so here if you see the a that is between two sides it is not ssa criteria is ssa criteria and sas criteria the same so sas the meaning between two sides that included and you need to use the word included and or else they have told ssa or ass also they didn't say that right so when you talk so write down if in two triangles if in two triangles one pair of corresponding sides are proportional and what should be the angle angle should be proportional no? angle should always be equal side should always be proportional and the included angles are equal then the triangles are said to be similar
Okay. So can we see an illustration based on it? So illustration number five. What does it say? In a given figure, D E is parallel to B C. So A B C D E is parallel to B C. A D is two centimeter. So this is two centimeter. B D is two point five centimeter. A E is three point two centimeter, and D E is four centimeter. Find A C. Find A C. One minute, please. Hello. Then we need to add it. Loud. Then A D is how much? Is it right? A D is two. B D is two point five. A E is three point two. Oh, they given D E. Ah, uh, sorry. That's what I was wondering. They gave all the sides, asking us to add. So how much is this side? That's what we need to prove, right? Now, what can you say? These two triangles are the first place. They are similar. A C and B C. A C and B C. Ah. Huh. This side and this side. So let me call this as X and let me call this as Y. Now, can you say that these two triangles are similar? Because angles are same, and this angle is common, right? When they are similar, what can you say? Two divided by three point two should be equal to two point five divided by x, which implies x is equal to how much? Find it out. Okay. I'll only frame the equation and give you. You find it out. Similarly, what can you say about the triangle ADE? And ABC. So AD by DE should be equal to AB by BC. AD by DE should be equal to AB by BC because they are all similar triangles. Okay, AD is how much? Two divided by four is equal to AB is how much? AB is four point five divided by y, so y should be nine. So y will be nine centimeter. This x value alone, you need to find it. This two point five into three point two, multiply into it later. Sorry. Oh, they ask AC. Huh? Oh, see, ah, then uh, add it to three point. You have to leave in five minutes. A, B, C, and E, D, F are similar. So, so first write down. Four for what? X is four, huh? Yes, okay, four means answer should be seven point two. You send this question to me. I'll. I have class now. I'll go and solve and send it to you. Yeah, I send it in WhatsApp. So I'll do one last problem. So sixth one, the given figure angle ACB is ninety. Okay, it's a right angle triangle. ACD is ninety. CD is perpendicular to AB. So from C, if I drop a perpendicular onto D, CD is perpendicular to AB. Prove that CD square. CD square is equal to DD into AD. How do we do? Sorry, AD. CD square is equal to DD into AD. How do we do this? Which two triangles are similar? 
CAD are they similar can you prove that i don't think so because if you take this to be theta then how much is this angle 90 minus theta if you take this angle to be alpha how much is this angle it is not alpha at least two angles need to be same no for you to say that the third angle is similar uh, it's a scene. What else can you do? Can I do this in the next class? I have an auto waiting. I have class at 5. I'll come on Thursday again. I'll do that. In the meanwhile, you also try it. Okay.